Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to Video Tuesday. I just got back from Houston. I was at On Stage, our convention, and I'm happy to tell you that I have the new catalog in my possession, but I can't share it with you yet. So the new catalog goes into effect on May 2nd, and um, I think you're going to be really pleased when you see the new product in there and what carried over from the past catalog and from the mini catalog. So I am excited about um, a new suite that's in our online exclusives. Um, this is called a little latte. And if you know me, you know I'm a coffee drinker, right? I love, love, love my coffee. And I know a lot of people that love coffee. So I thought this is a very appropriate um, suite for me to purchase because I'm sure I have a lot of friends that would enjoy these cards. So um, all that being said, um, I am going to start the video. My well, I don't think it'll really be long because I did some pre-work. This is a card that we made at my stamp camp um, two Saturdays ago, and um, I hope you like it. I'm also going to show you a little trick. I don't know if it's a trick, but I'm just going to give you a follow-up cl little class on um, how I keep my stamps. So let's get started. Okay, so um, this stamp set is... Um, still in the mini catalog, Trusty Tools, and, um, and this is a photopolymer set. And so what I do with my photopolymer sets is this. I don't really like them on these clear, I love the acetate that they come on. I use it for other things, but, you know, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put it into directly into my case. The reason is because I find it easier to see the words, the images, when I have this, and then when I have the stamps on top of them. So I'm just going to pull these off. So these are photopolymers, so they're very sticky, and I just stick them right into the case. I'm not going to do this whole, this whole stamp set, right? I'm just going to do a couple stamps to show you. Okay, now another trick that I've started doing is putting the dies on this side. <coughs> Sorry, <clears throat> losing my voice. Um, I do buy um, magnet, magnet sheets. I cut them and I put them on this side. And if I have the dies, I've been keeping them, especially from the mini catalog, in, in with the stamp set. Um, I used to always keep them separate, but I'm kind of thinking it's easier to have them handy. It doesn't always apply, especially if the dies are kind of like standalone dies. But... Um, if they are, if they coordinate with the stamp set, like this one will, it has, you know, the brush and the tape measure and stuff. Without the stamp set, those would be just kind of blobs. So I'm probably going to keep those uh, when I get them. I haven't got them yet, but um, I do have the, I do have the paper. Okay, I got the DSP. So, so anyway, there you go. That's how I do it. And then I dispose of this. I don't dispose of it. I keep it for future use. And then if you want, you can still keep this real thin piece. It's uh, kind of, you can use that for other things too, but I just lay that on top, especially if I have the dies over here, kind of keeps everything separated. Okay, so that's just what I do. Just an idea. And um, I especially like that they give us the case. We per You can purchase these cases. There's four in a pack. I think they're like seven or eight dollars. But, um, you know, you get the case with the um with the stamp set okay if you want to purchase a case those are really good for this is an old case right Ooh, really bad looking but um i keep my chamois in here and um keeps it you know nice and wet so anyway so that's just one idea all right today we're going to make a card we are going to use the little latte uh sweet collection i'm going to use a piece of uh calypso coral because that's one of the colors that's in the in the designer series paper. And um, I've already purchased another pack of this paper because I'm, I used a lot of it for Stamp Camp, but also I'm in love with it. It's just, it's got these coffee cups, beans, this. I'm a, I'm a crazy girl for uh, any kind of a plaid or anything like that. I mean, there's just darling paper. And so we're gonna use different pieces of it today. So Lemon Lolly is another color that's in the Designer Series paper. So I cut a piece that'll fit on this and it's a four by five and a quarter. I did run it through a 3D embossing folder called Time Worn Type. This folder is, 
almost uh, a staple because I use it so often. It's um, it's kind of eclectic, goes with everything. And um, obviously it's going with this coffee card. So um, I did run that through the 3D folder and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna adhere this to my base. Now, since this is textured, if you feel like it, you could use liquid glue. I'm not going to, there is an up and a down on this. So I'm gonna make sure I do this going the right direction, even though probably most of it won't be showing. Okay, now I did cut out using um, these perennial postage um, dies. These dies, they're in the mini catalog and uh, they're, they're darling, right? So you get, this is how I keep them now. Uh, you get 12, okay? And they, you know, coordinate with the stamp set, but they are definitely standalone dies. And um, what I did was I picked out a four of them and I cut um, different sizes of, I, I cut this one because that's one of my favorite colors, right? I love that. And then I cut this one and this one, and yes. And then I cut just a um, one of the squares of pecan pie, okay? And then I cut out, um, I out of the designer series paper, there's like, you know, 25 of these cups. So I'm using the cups and I'm gonna do a little thing with that, okay? So let's start adhering these to our, card base or to this uh, lemon lolly. Okay, so I'm just gonna use liquid glue. So I'm just gonna put liquid glue on the, on these squares. This one up here. And this one, I love this, right? Because if you get a cup of coffee somewhere and you get a latte and it's got these little hearts, you go crazy. You're like, oh, that's so cute. Oops, stuck my finger. Okay, so I'm putting that one there. And then this one, that's really cute. I'm, I'm gonna use a little piece of that other side on a, something for this card, but not for this. Okay, so I'm put that down there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the square over here. So I'm not popping any of these up. Right, I'm just gluing them straight down. I'm gonna have some other things popped up, but not this. Okay, so that's sort of giving me um, a good start to my cute card. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just cut this out real quick, fussy cut this. And this is, um, so what I did at Stamp Camp was, I did do a lot of pre-work for the girls. Um, and I did cut all these out for them. And then I gave them their cups and they had to fussy cut the, their coffee cups out. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing exactly what I made them do. Okay, so I have that. And I'm going to glue this down also. I'm just gonna use adhesive on this, because why not? Okay, so I'm just gonna put this in here. I'm probably gonna just put it off to the side a little bit like that. Okay, and then I have, I punched out a little circle. And um, this is uh, one and, good question, Travis. Yeah, one and a quarter. And then I'm going to use this stamp from the uh, Latte Love set. It says, um, you're the best part of my day. And so I'm gonna stamp that in Early Espresso ink. You're the best part of my day. I mean, that'd be so cute if you got this card. You'd be like, oh, I'm the best part of your day. And then I'm going to pop that up with a dimensional. Just one dimensional in the center, that's all I need. And I'm gonna put that right here, okay? So now I have two squares filled. I'm just gonna leave this one. I just love that so much, I'm gonna leave that. But there's dies that coordinates with Latte Love and the dies are, hmm, you get a French press, you get a coffee pot, and you get, cuts out the coffee beans, it cuts out um, a big cup, small cups, a spoon, coffee beans, um, little coffee that fits inside these coffee beans, I mean coffee cups, it is just darling. And so this one right here, it looks like a just a regular 
kind of like a Mr. Coffee, right? Kind of looks like my coffee pot that, well, mine's silver, but it's kind of the same thing. I could have made it silver, actually. Um, and so what I did was I cut that out of vellum. So we do have cardstock vellum. And, um, or this would be a good use for that clear, that clear acetate from your stamp set. You could cut it out of that and it look like glass. Okay, so I have this. And then I have these pieces. And I'm missing my coffee. Where is my little coffee? Hang on a second. I know I cut one, but I don't know what I did with it. Okay. So I did use the other side of that to cut that. So now I'm just going to use my um, silicone craft sheet. Well, my silicone craft sheet is missing. Oh my goodness. Where is it? Here it is. I have about 10 of them, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna assemble this cute coffee pot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach the lid. So I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of glue across the top. And I'm gonna just attach the lid to the coffee pot. Okay, and then it's squeezed out. And then I'm going to attach the handle Okay, so it all fits together so perfectly. Okay, I'm just gonna attach that next. And then a coffee pot is no good without any coffee inside, so I'm gonna add, add my coffee inside. I thought about just doing brown, but then I thought, ooh, that kind of looks like a swirled coffee, so I think I'm gonna use that. Okay, so I have my coffee pot. And now I'm going to, and since I'm using vellum, it's a little tricky, right? Because glue shows through, but I have these other, these places where I can glue it down now. So I'm going to put this right up here like it's pouring. Coffee pouring out like that. So now it looks like the little spout's right there. And it's pouring out. I actually could have put the cup over there and that would have looked like it was pouring into the cup, but too late. Okay, so uh, there is my coffee card today. Oh, I just think this, this sweet is just, it's so me. Okay, so, but the inside is Calypso Coral and I'm not crazy about having an inside that's a dark color like that. So I am going to stamp, I'm just gonna stamp a few coffee beans on the stamp set in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my water painter. And since this is water-based ink, you can kind of just use your water painter to pull up a little color and then smear it around, right? Because all it's doing is all it's doing is actually bleeding the outline into the coffee bean. Hope that makes sense. But um, you could add more color if you wanted, but don't feel the need. So can you see that? It actually gave them the coffee beans a little color. All right. I'm going to attach this inside the card. So this piece is four by five and a quarter, just like the yellow piece, the lemon lolly. I was gonna make it smaller, but I thought, no, since I did this one four by five and a quarter, I'm gonna do the inside five and a quarter by four. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this blank on the inside. There are some really cute sayings in there. Hello uh, there, let's catch up. Thanks so much. Uh, this one's on me. This would be a great card for a uh, gift card, but um, since I said you're the best part of my day, I'm just going to leave that blank and maybe just write a little note to somebody and, you know, tell them what they mean to me. So um, that is my card today, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you came to Stamp Camp, I hope you enjoyed it. You got to make two of these. So um, I hope uh, you're all having a had a great weekend. I got back from Houston on Sunday, and um, it's good to be home. 
and I will see you on Friday. My name is Travis Bossler, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in St. Louis, Missouri. Thanks for watching my videos, and I appreciate your likes and subscriptions. Thanks so much. See you on Friday. Bye!